In this episode of Cap 13's Hello. Movie Review, we'll be discussing oh, yeah, the newest yeah, Marvel yeah. movie, Logan. This film was produced by 20th Century Fox Studios, who describes the movie as, It's 2029. Mutants are gone, or very nearly so. An isolated, despondent Logan is drinking his days away in a hideout on a remote stretch of the Mexican border. Logan's attempts to hide from the world and his legacy abruptly yeah, so end when a mysterious man. woman appears with an urgent request Record that Logan ends. shepherd an extraordinary young girl to Logan safety. Is. In the real world, people die. This is Hugh Jackman's final performance as Wolverine, and it was without a doubt his most compelling. Wolverine, who is traditionally known for being brash, arrogant, and bumptious, is completely different in this film. We begin to see his human side. While he still possesses his undesirable character traits that we all know and love, we start to see a different side of Wolverine, and that was very exciting as a superhero movie fan. Patrick Stewart was amazing, and his portrayal of no. Professor X was elite, no. as always. No. Daphne Keene acted as Mutant X-23. This was the young lady's very first role in a movie, and she absolutely killed it, much like her opposition in this exciting, compelling, and emotional story. This movie was written and directed by James Mangold, and the way he told this story was truly captivating. Marco Beltrami created the score for this movie, and it was powerful. The music was subtle, elegant, and oddly beautiful. It fit the mood of the movie perfectly. Has come along. This is what life looks like. People who love each other. A home. This movie was absolutely amazing. It was action-packed, had compelling performances and characters, and the story was deeply profound. All aspects of this movie captivated my attention and imagination. You still have time. I was extremely satisfied with this film. I will be giving it... A 16.2 clings on the Trenton scale. For Caps 13, this is Austin Nichols with this week's movie review.